Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the React JS building blocks. So how the React actually works behind the scenes. So we are learning about this concept. So we have learned about the component, how it is converted into a React element and component instances. What are the difference between those three? We have learned it. Now the second one which we need to learn is how the rendering actually works. So the react elements after converting into the react elements, the react elements normally what we have discussed it, we have it will render it to the browser we have seen it. But the react elements after generating the react elements, react elements has the data which should which 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 should generate the DOM elements and these DOM elements will be converted into a browser. So if not converted into a browser, so it will paint it in the browser. So now this rendering phase, so normally this rendering phase, how the react elements convert into the DOM and all those things. So let's try to learn in this video. While we are building a react application, we are creating a bunch of components, right? So that's, that's true. We also use these components inside other components as many times as we want, which will cause to create one or more component instances of each component. So now what I am trying to tell you is, so this is just a recap, something like that, try like that. So normally when we are trying to develop a react application, we will create huge number of components and we will use the component inside another component like that. So we have already discussed that when we create, when we use the component, when we create a component, the component instance will not be created. When we use this component, then only the component instance will be created. If you use this component multiple times means that multiple component instances will be created. So that is what I want to, I'm, I'm trying to explain it here. So whenever you are using components inside other components as many times as we want, so which will try it, which will cause to create one or more component instances of each component. So here like this, it will be something like a, uh, I generated, I created some basic thing. So component A will be there, which is created. And now whenever you are trying to use this component A, so like this component instance A1, A2, A3, like this, if you are using three times means then three instances will be created. And the same scenario component B, if you are using two times means, so two instances will be created. These are actually physical components that live in our application. So that uh, component instances are re actually physical components that live in your application and holds the state and the props data. Now as react call each component instance, <clears throat> each JSX will produce a bunch of react dot create element function calls, which in turn will pro produce a react element for each component instance. So that is the thing. So whenever you are calling, whenever you are trying to use the component thing whenever you're trying to use the component so component instance will be created so now as react calls each component instance so the jsx will produce a bunch of create react elements function calls which in turn will produce a create a react element for each component instance so for every component instance a react element will be created so this is the example so here the three component instances are there so for the component instance a1 a react element will be created so like this for every instances, a react element will be created <clears throat> and ultimately the react elements will be converted to DOM elements and displayed as user interface on the screen. So that is the thing which I want to tell you. So overall, briefly, if I want to explain you is, so this is the concept. Now this is the thing. So component A and component B instances this is like this is created and react element and uh, finally user interface is displayed on the screen. So we have a, now we have a pretty good understanding of the initial part of the process. So now transforming components to react elements. Now we need to know about the second part of the process, how these react elements converted to DOM and displayed on the screen. So here, this is the thing. So how these react elements are converted to DOM and displayed on the screen. So this is the main thing which we need to know. Now we will see each of the phases involved in displaying our components onto the screen. In order to learn how react works internally behind the scenes, we need to know that each time when react starts a new render new uh, starts, whenever each time a new uh, react starts, a new render is triggered most of the time by updating state somewhere in the app. So now here you need to understand that. So we need to learn the how the react actually works behind the scene. So now whenever a react starts, a render method will be triggered. So most of the time, so this render trigger will be triggered whenever we are updating the state somewhere in the app. So if you update the state somewhere in the app, a render method will be triggered. So what is this one? Whenever state changes, 
it triggers renders and so it makes sense that the next phase is the render phase <coughs> so whenever any state changes it triggers the renders now we will be able to understand that the next phase is the render phase in this phase the react calls our component functions and figures out how it should update the dom so in this render phase what it will try to do the react calls our component functions so similar component functions and figures out how it should update the dom however it will not update the dom directly now you need to understand that render is not updating the dom or displaying elements in the screen rendering only happens internally inside react it does not produce visual changes so now here also you need to understand that the render will not update the dom or display the elements in the screen so just render only happens internally inside the react it does not produce any visual effects visual changes in our previous videos we have used the term rendering with the meaning of displaying elements on the screen because that was just easy to understand so rendering actually means this render plus the next phase <clears throat> so this is the meaning so the actual definition is rendering means so first it will try to render then the next phase it will execute so what is the next phase we'll try to see and speaking of the next phase once react knows how to update the dom it does so in commit phase so this is the next phase so render phase is completed then it will go to the commit phase so here in this commit phase react knows how to update the dom in this commit phase new elements might be placed in the dom and already existing elements might get updated or deleted so in this phase it in this commit phase new elements in the dom will be created or otherwise the existing elements will be updated or deleted that means this commit phase is actual phase of what we traditionally call rendering not the render phase then finally browser notice that the dom has been updated and so it repaints the screen so like this it will be so first a render will be triggered so tri uh, trigger happens updating the state so trigger we not a vehicle not vehicle that one the spelling mistake so trigger happens whenever we updating the state somewhere and render phase so render phase render is triggered then the render phase happens react calls component functions and figures out how dom should be updated and in the commit phase Re react uh, actually writes to the dom updating inserting and deleting elements and the browser paints will happen so these are the uh, render phase means so these are the thing four things it will be happen render is triggered then render phase runs and afterwards commit phase comes and afterwards browser paint <clears throat> there are actually two situations in which a render can be triggered so one is initial render of the application so initial boot bootstrap of the application or whenever the state is updated on one or more component instances somewhere in the application then the re-render happens it's important to remember that the render process is really is triggered for the entire application not just for one single component so this is also one of the important thing you need to understand that whenever a render process is really started means it will be triggered for the entire application not for just for single component that doesn't mean that entire dom is updated but rendering is only about calling the component functions and figuring out what needs to change in the dom later so you cannot uh, so by ca calling this render and enter application means don't think that the dom will be updated entirely but here rendering is only about calling the component functions and all those things in practice it looks like react only read enters the component where the state update happens but that's not how it works on the uh, one thing i want to say that renders are not triggered immediately so here react only re-renders the component where the state update happens but that is not the thing which will works and the renders are not triggered immediately it is scheduled for when the js engine has some free time this is also called as batching of multiple state calls in event handlers we will try to discuss about this batching also so this is all about the rendering phase so now you have a pretty understanding about the rendering phase so whenever any state occurs the rendering will be triggered then it will enter into the render phase render phase will call all the component functions and all those things and figures out how it should update the dom then afterwards it will enter into another state that is nothing but a commit phase in this commit phase it will try to do uh, what i want to say is it will actually write the dom insert the dom update the dom whatever the thing it will want to update the elements it will try to do it in the commit phase and the last one the browser will be painted so this is the phases how we how the rendering actually works so hope you understood about this rendering concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.